Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, we got some information for you today. Apparently, temperatures at La Sofrere is a bit above the base levels that are expected at this time since the volcano erupted in 2021. It's in the cooling period, should remain at a certain level in terms of temperatures. Well, apparently NASA firms picked up a new heat anomaly that was on Sunday, the 6th of October. We're going to break down that information for you. And then we got some information from the government here in St. Vincent and the Grenadines that you need to know. But in the meantime, visitors have been warned to stay away from La Sofre until this whole thing is investigated properly and we know exactly what is going on. So let's take a look at uh, the situation currently. And on NASA satellite, we start with the October 1. I'm going to start with October 1. There was no detection of anything there on october 2nd there was nothing on october 3rd there was nothing detected on number 4th there was nothing detected on the, this october 5th there was nothing detected on october 6th of course you see the anomaly popped up there so it was going fine all along and on the 6th which was uh sunday the satellite picked up this anomaly or rise in temperature within the volcano and the crater on the 7th, which was yesterday, nothing was detected. On the 8th, which is today, as far as we know at this time, at this point in time, nothing has been detected. But on the 6th of October, they detected that anomaly. It's ongoing according to our authorities in St. Vincent, which is NEMO, and they're investigating it. Temperatures above existing background base levels detected at Lasso Freire Volcano. But according to information received from the Seismic Research Center at 2.30 p.m. on Monday, a low thermal anomaly temperatures above existing background base levels was detected at the summit of Lasso Freire Volcano by NASA firm's hotspot detection system on Sunday, 6th, October, 2024. This low thermal anomaly as detected by NASA firms, is currently ongoing. All right, so that's something that you need to keep in mind. Potential scenarios associated with the detection of a thermal anomaly include a sulfur fire in the crater, a small phreatic steam eruption that may have exposed hot underlying rocks, or the start of new extrusion of lava in the crater. So these are three things that you have to bear in mind, all right? So there are potential scenarios associated with this anomaly it's either sulfur fire in the crater a small phreatic steam eruption or or the start of new extrusion of lava in the crater and that's something that you need to think about now i'm gonna get to these things quickly because persons would have called and asked me to explain them a bit because they weren't explained within the press release so let's go to this one first now, what you need to know Phreatic eruptions, what are those things? Those things are steam-driven explosions that occur when groundwater pressure builds up due to rocks and gases being heated up by magma. Compared to eruptions caused by rising magma, phreatic eruptions are smaller in scale and their precursory signals are harder to detect. A mountain could erupt without magma. So just bear in mind that there's no eruption taking place. I'm just giving you information as to what these things are in the press release. Phreatic eruptions, a steam driven explosions that occur when groundwater pressure builds up. All right. And remember there's groundwater within the volcano. It builds up and it's due to rocks and gases being heated up by magma. Compared to eruption caused by rising magma, phreatic eruptions are smaller in scale and their precursory signals are harder to detect. A mountain could erupt without magma. So that's number one. So that's a phreatic eruption because you heard about that within the press release. You also heard something about sulfur fire. Now, blue lava, also known as the Indonesian Apibiru, and simply referred to as blue fire or sulfur fire, is a phenomenon that occurs when sulfur burns. Of course, you know it's a volcano, so sulfur must be within. It's an electric blue flame that has the illusory appearance of lava. Despite the name, the phenomenon is actually a sulfuric fire that resembles the appearance of lava rather than the actual lava from a volcanic eruption. The most well-documented of these fires occurred on the Indonesian Kawajian volcano where they regularly burn. All right, so this is something that happens within volcanoes. So you know what's a sulfur fire now because this was not explained within. And there's also something that you want to know about, thermal anomalies. 
they actually refer to unexpected temperature variations in a given area. So if where you live, it's always 60 degrees, and one day you wake up, this it's 90 degrees, that's a thermal anomaly. It refers to an unexpected temperature variation in a given area. And it's often detected using satellite imagery or infrared sensors, indicating changes like volcanic activity, wildfires, or geothermal processes. So notice thermal anomalies refer to unexpected temperature variations in a given area area but of course within this context you're talking about a volcano so it's often detected using satellite imagery or infrared sensors indicating changes like volcanic activity wildfires or geothermal processes now i'm just giving you this information it's for educational purposes it's not to cause alarm any of the sort all right so let's continue with the press release from NEMO. Analysis of multi-gas collected on October 4th by National Emergency Management Organization NEMO SUFRI monitoring team and further reconnaissance via sea along the West Coast on Monday 7th are still on the way. Further updates will be given following the analysis of the multi-gas data and the conclusions from the visual observations. It says the volcano remains at green alert level. This means that the volcano is quiet Seismic steam event activities are low. The volcano remains at green alert level. This means that the volcano is quiet. All right. So seismic activity or steam vent, whatever you want to call it, the activities are at or below the historical level at this volcano. No other unusual activity has been observed. In the meantime, the National Emergency Management Organization is advising persons not to visit the volcano at this time, and the Lasso Fred Trail remains closed. There should be no unauthorized visits to the summit until further notice. As the cruise season approaches, um, we are hopeful that this will be all sorted out and because this is one of the hot spots for visitors to go when they get to the island everybody wants to take a hike to last of Red volcano but in the meantime right now nemo is saying no one is allowed to venture up there you know that there are going to be some adventurous people who may want to do that but they're advising you not to do that at this time and the trail remains closed as well that is the trail heading to the Lasso Frere volcano. All right. So those of you living in diaspora, I just wanted to bring this information to you. I think it's necessary for you to know because there were some things in the press release that was not explained. It's just a broad uh, detail. And it was just a broad press release. So those of you living in the diaspora, I just wanted to bring this to you because what was in the press release was just a broad outline and there's some things that needed to be broken down for the public to understand what is really taking place and we decided to bring that information to you. Once there's an update, we definitely will give you that update.